The sets of an animated film provide not only the environment, a description of the environment, the details of the house, the street or the places in which the characters move, they must also convey an atmosphere, and give a tone to the film. It's a bit like the arrangement for a song. There's the voice, the characters that is, there's the melody, which is the story, but there's also the general tone, which is a more subtle thing. And that is the proper function of the sets. The sets for an animated film are a series of drawings more or less this size or even larger, sometimes much larger, rarely any smaller. And in a full-length film, there are a thousand to a thousand two hundred of them, and they are created by a team of seven or eight people. Before the final sets are made, there's an environmental and architectural study. If the environments are urban, as in this case, a town plan is even drawn up so that you know that the barber leaves his shop here and goes to his house, which is there. And behind his shop, you can see the church. The study is as precise as if it were a real place. Then there's a second work phase for the set designer, which in real movies corresponds to the shooting script and is the job of the director of photography, establishing the lighting of the environment and therefore the atmosphere. So, for my part, I prepare a series of sketches in which the light source is established for each sequence. And these sketches are then used by the assistants to draw the final sets. Ah, gli assistenti che fanno le scenografie definitive.